I remember when I first started riding this dual sport off-road, all these dips and ditches, they would take me for a loop. I'd be slowing down for every single one, very cautiously cut, crawling in and crawling out, um, pretty much half the time stalling the bike in the, in the bottom, and then having a hell of a time getting it out. Now, uh, I just kind of let the bike flow right through it. Bend the knees and just ride her through. Whee! There's no problem. And eventually I'll be jumping them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Little offshoot right there. Where does that go, I wonder? Oh boy. Do we take it? Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Let's go see just for a minute. Whoops, that's neutral. That would be neutral, boys and girls. takes me back to the main, that would be all right. Do a nice little loop. Wish I could camp in here. Fortunately, there's no camping in here. To the best of my knowledge, anyways. Because it is all forestry land. designated campsites only. So, no wild camping anyways. Oh, this is going to take me back around. Oh, that's really cool. There's the main. Oh, no. That's not the main. That's the way I came in. <laughs> okay. pickers. Lots of skeeters here in the summer. Mud. Holy smokes. Oh, that's a mucky. That's a mucky. That's paralleling the, tra the trail that I came in on. <sighs> So that's a good thing. That was kind of fun.
way more control over this bike when I stand up. Way more control. Is that a low bridge? Oh no, it's been cut. Would have been a low bridge. This is very muddy and slippy. Super slippy in the center. So I'm gonna try and avoid that. wash there a bit. I think this is going to take me out. We'll see. I like it though. I like it a lot. What's this? Oh, a little bow and arrow. Okay, that's for in case of self-defense needed. Grab that. Oh, basketball hoop. Jeez, people, come on. Look at this. Man, why? All right, so let's go. I'm gonna try and work my way out of here, so going that way to the left. Hope that she hooks up with the main at some point in time. I would assume it would because we ran into that garbage. I also have to be mindful of uh, horses out here when I'm riding out here, people on the horses. I don't want to spook a horse with someone on it. I'd feel horrible for that. All right. I don't get it. This is what the CRF 250L is best at. Absolutely. Getting out and exploring. I'd say if you're sitting at home, Contemplating, getting out, and getting into the world of dual sport adventure riding, I would highly recommend getting yourself a used CRF 250L. They're relatively inexpensive. You can find them, well, I was going to say you can find them all over the place, but there's been a real run on them. But uh, you can find them relatively inexpensive. Sometimes you can find them with all the mods already done to them for relatively inexpensive. But even without the mods, these things are a blast out here. I mean, you're not going to win any enduro races, but I mean, that's not what you're that's not what you're out here for. If you're out here just to explore, like I just did, and uh, follow the trails and see where they go, and you know, sightsee, take it easy, enjoy some bumps, some puddles, a couple little climbs, some ditch crossings. These things are perfect for that. Absolutely perfect for that. Yeah, and you can even get out and explore and go camping on them because I've got all my camping gear on mine right now. I've been uh, traveling, doing a lot of exploring with her fully loaded just so uh, I, can, I can get that uh, muscle memory, those skills, the feeling of riding the bike off-road fully loaded and uh, just getting used to how it reacts and whatnot. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I love this bike. Absolutely perfect for this. More trails there. Okay, come and explore those another day. Anyways, not much of a video, not much of a, well, not much talking going on in this video. I do appreciate you guys stopping by and uh, taking time out of your guys' busy schedule to uh, watch my bit my videos. Uh, this was just another exploring video, uh, exploring the area, a new area to me that's not too, too far from home. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks again for uh, stopping by. I appreciate your views. Please, if you like what you saw and you want to help the channel out, consider subscribing. Uh, like everyone says, it costs you nothing. It's absolutely free. Uh, it helps the channel out. And uh, if you like the video, just go ahead and smash that like button. Uh, that also helps the channel out. I'm trying to grow a little bit. I've been growing slowly and steady. Uh, I try to post as often as I can. Anyways, what am I trying to say? I don't know, I'm rambling on. So I'm gonna end it right there. Uh, once again, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. This is Critter Moto signing off. Until next time, let's just get out there and ride.